so hello everyone uh, so now we will start with some questions okay we will do gate questions first let's see some examples and we will continue with gate questions okay so first of all we have string till abelian group so first thing is if it is algebraic structure if it is closed then it is algebraic structure next is semi group if it is associative then it is semi group okay next is monoid monoid is happening when it contains identity element next is group okay so if it contains inverse then it is group then next is abelian group so if it is commutative then it is abelian group okay so if it is abelian group it has to be commutative okay so i have written it down again so that uh, you can visualize this again so just uh, just a uh, simple way of recapping the previous video so uh, i hope you have um, done this video so it will be needed here because you will do some examples and we will move on to questions so now let's see this questions okay so which of the following statement following is or are true okay so first is number 1 in a group this is a group okay so this star is any binary element if x star is equals to x then for all x belongs to g then g is abelian group g is abelian group it's one second there is no ink okay so now we have to prove it is abelian group so abelian group means what we have to prove it is commutative so already it is given that it is group so this is very important to notice here it is given it is group so we have to just figure it out if it is abelian or not so now uh, if you remember we have already done this okay so in uh, this was a property in groups so if we have done this in properties of groups in our first lecture of just previous uh, of this video okay so in this playlist you will find it out so you have already done this so this is a property of group and since it is already mentioned in question that it is group so obviously it is we can use this so now it is given that uh, x star is equals to x x is any variable it is not that you know, we have to put x and everything so if x is any variable we can also use this in here so we are basically using that only so here we have seen see this whole thing is treated as x so inverse of this is inverse same thing will be coming okay so now here for particular element we will be using this inverse is equals to that element only so it is b and this will turn up as a inverse uh, is equals to a so this is coming so now you can see a star b is equals to b star a so this is commutative and hence it is abelian loop okay so this statement is true so we have done this okay so i hope this is uh, clear to you so this is not much thing so this is easy basically okay so now let's see the second part of this question so again it is given sorry it is given that in a group so group is given so this is our group if a star b whole square is equals to a star into b star uh, multiplied in b star uh, sorry a square star b square for all a b belongs to g then g is abelian group so you have to find this is, this is given so two means we have to multiply twice okay so if three would have given like we multiply three times uh, when it is square or it is cube same thing okay so now we have to find that it is abelian or not See, it is already group we don't have to go from first algebraic structure till here because it is already given this is group so we just have to figure it out that it is commutative or not so simple thing so now let's see this a star b is equals to a star a square star b star okay so now how we can um, come with this so if you see this this is uh, a star b square so this will be multiplied twice so expand it a star b into a star b star okay so we have just 
multiplied it twice. So, since it is square, it is just multiplied twice. Okay. So, now a square is similarly a into a into b square means b into b. Okay. So, now if you remember in groups, we have already seen the properties of group that cancellation laws hold. So, we can cancel it out from left side, this two cancels out, from right side, this two cancels out. So, now only this part is left. So, this is b star a is equals to a star b. So, again you can see this is basically commutative. Okay. So, this is commutative and hence it is abelian group. Okay. So, this is very easy. So, we will do some more examples and we will continue with get PYQs. So, uh, let let I will give you some time to write it down or you can just pause the video and write it down and we will see the next question. So now, let us see the next question here. So, question is if A is given. So, this is actually if you see closely clearly this is set of odd numbers. Okay. So, here 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. So, this is odd numbers and B is 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. So, this is continuing as even numbers. So, now which of the following is semi group? So, you have to find out uh, which of the following among this is semi group. So, you do not have to go till here. We have to just find out if it is closed and associative. So, again in uh, here uh, another uh, shortcut you can apply is that only plus and star is used. So, plus and multiplication whenever it is used it will always be associative. Okay. So, semi group you just do not have to check anything at all because it will be always be associative. You just have to find out if it is closed or not. So, if it is algebraic structure, if it is algebraic structure, it will be semi group because associativity always holds in place of this star and plus. Okay. So, now let us see one by one. First thing A plus. Okay. So, A plus A is set of containing uh, odd number odd integers. Okay. So, here if you see if we add something let us see if we add 1 plus 3 it is turning up as 4, but 4 is not present here because see here all the numbers are odd. So, odd plus odd can give you even and even is not present here. So, this is not algebraic structure. So, you have to go further because if it is not algebraic structure it will not be semi group also. So, this is not okay. So, this is not our semi group. Next, next is here this one a dot. So, a comma dot. So, now if we take any values let us say 1 and 3 if we multiply this it will come as 3. Okay. So, it will be there in the um, this set. So, this is closed. Let us take anything uh, 7 and 9 7 and 63. So, it will be present. So, it is containing all the um, elements. So, this is closed. Okay. So, since it is closed this is algebraic structure and I have already told you multiplication is associative. So, it is semi group also. Okay. So, this is true. Which of the following is semi group? Nothing true. So, this is semi group. Okay. So, now next is B plus. Okay, so B is containing this uh, even numbers. Okay, so if we take even plus even, it will always be even, so it will be present in group. So let me go slowly. So if we take let's say two plus four, so two plus four is six. Six is already present. Let's take another four plus six. It will be ten. Ten will be present because it is increasing by two, and this is even numbers. Sorry. So even plus even will always give you even number only okay so this is nothing to worry so this will be always be closed okay so this is basically closed so it is algebraic structure next if it is associative or not see it is plus and plus is associative we already seen so this is associative associative so this is semi group okay so this is semi group so now let's uh, erase something so i don't know this uh, mic is playing in front of my home if it is also audible to you I am getting distracted so I get distracted very easily that is very big problem for me 
I, when I study, I need a place where uh, no noise is there. So that is my problem. So everyone has own there, right? So now next. So I am losing <laughs> my uh, conscious. I am. So that is a problem. So now next B comma this multiplication. So multiplication is. Uh, applied in this B. So, B is containing even numbers. If we multiply any two, let us say we are multiplying 4 and 6. 4, 6 is 24, right? 24 will always be present in this set because this is containing all the even numbers. So, 24 is even number, it will be present. So, even is multiplied with even only, it will always give you some even number, okay? So, this is basically closed and then so it is algebraic structure and since it is multiplication again so it will be associative and hence it is semi group ok. So, this is true this is also semi group only this is not semi group because it is containing it is not uh, algebraic structure ok. So, since it is not algebraic structure it will always be semi it will never be anything not semi group it will not be anything ok. So, let us see another example. So, now let us see this example. So, A is containing all the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 anything and this is a binary operation star is defined by A star B is equals to A to the power B. So, this is particularly any binary operation. See, we have already seen star does not mean its multiplication. It can be anything. So, here and you do not have to worry because it will always be uh, defined. So, here it is A star B means A to the power B. Okay, And A B belongs to this set A and which of the following is true. So, just seeing this, okay, so this will be a bit confusion. So, let us start with one by one. So, it is semi group, but not monoid, monoid, but not group, uh, is group, but not semi group, anything. We have to at least find out it is semi group. So, before finding semi group, we have to find out if it is closed or not, okay. So, first thing we have to find out if it is closed or not. See, if we, these are all uh, natural numbers it will contain everything okay so from 1 to till infinity it will contain everything so we don't need to worry actually about uh, um, this algebraic structure because here no negative number is present already so if we put something it will not be negative it will always come in uh, between any number so if we put a star b it will come as a to the power b. So, it will be always closed. Okay. So, since it is closed, it will be algebraic structure. So, you have to find out if it is semi group or not. Okay. So, so just we have to find out next is semi group or not. So, I hope this is understandable. Okay. In, if you take anything, let us take 1 into 2. So, it means 1 to the power 2, this is 1. So, it will it is present. You can take any variable anything like 3 into 4. 3 to the power 4, I do not know what is this, I am very bad in calculations, okay. So, anything, uh, it will always be a uh, positive number, so it will always be present in this, so we do not have to worry. So, next, well, the important thing from now, we have to find out that if it is uh, associative or not, so that it, we have to prove uh, next is semi group. So, next is semi group, we have to find out if it is associative or not, do not think this is multiplication, so this is something different. So, you have to see if it is associative not. So, let us take 3 variables a star b, b star c. So, this let us take this 2 first and here let us take this 2 first. Okay. So, now a star b means a to the power b. So, this is coming as a to the power b. So, this is not equal it actually we have to find out if it is equal or not. So, let us like this write it down a star b and b star c means b to the power c since it is given as first and second. So, second will be at the power ok. So, b to the power c. So, now again a to the power b into c is coming as a to the power b to the power c ok. So, this. So, now again <coughs> so, let us actually put a bracket here and here again it is a to the power b to the power c ok. So, a is the first element and this is coming as power ok. So, now uh, see this is not equal ok. So, let us me write some uh, numerical values here. So, let us take a 
will be C1, 2, 3. Actually, it will come as 1. So, let us take as 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, now, if we take this, see, why haven't I taken 1? See, if I have taken 1, anything to the power 1 will be 1 only. So, let us take 2, 3, 4. So, now, A, here it is 2. This is 3 into 4. Okay. And here it is 2. Sorry, sorry, 2 to the power 3, 3 to the power 4. So, two, 3 into 4 is 12 and 3 to the power 4 I think it is 81. Okay. So, it is totally different. Okay. So, this is not equal. So, this is totally different. I do not know if it is visible. Let me check. Yes, it is visible. So, now what we have concluded this is not semi group. So, let us check the examples um, answers actually the uh, options one by one is a semi group not monoid this is false because it is not semi group next is a monoid obviously false because it is not semi group so going this down is not even uh, an option so is a group also false because here we have stopped so now the only option it is will have to it has to be correct it is not a semi group yes it is not a semi group ok so this actually is correct. So now let us see this question. So A is uh, this set x, x belongs to so 0, sorry, x is greater than 0 and less than equals to 1 and x is a real number. Okay. So it can contain like 0 0.1, 0 0.0001, 0 0.2, uh, anything. Okay. But less than equals to 1. So maximum it will contain 1, not more than that. Okay. So it will maximum contain 1 and uh, more than something 0. So, we have to find out uh, with respect to multiplication. Okay. So, our binary operation is multiplication here. So, we have to find out the semi group or not, monoid or not, everything. Okay. So, now next is we have to find out first thing is closed or not. So, if we have to find out uh, that H is algebraic structure or not. So, if it, we have to find out if it is algebraic structure, we have to find out it is closed or not. So, if we multiply anything, okay. So, you can just check it out with calculators also. So, if we multiply anything, it will always come down to exactly one only okay so so this is algebraic structure so this since it is closed this is algebraic structure next semi group see we are using multiplication as our binary operator so multiplication is always associative so this is semi group okay we have done a lot of examples till now and next is monoid or not so when it is multiplication we are uh, this identity element will be 1 ok and for summation it will be 0. So, we know that identity element exists. So, this is monoid ok. So, now for group we have to find out the inverse is possible or not. So, this is important here. See if we use this this is uh, a bit uh, um, like what is a tricky to find out see if we take this okay the f this element and if we take the inverse of this so this will come uh, down to as 10 okay but 10 is not present here so see with practice it will come to you naturally okay so if you just go uh, first level see i have just taken 0 0.1 as a first element if you have taken the first element it is coming that this is not present so it is not group okay so, but you will make ask question that how will we find out that it is uh, containing so many things if it have taken any other thing and if it have been the present. So, yes it is have, it is a tough thing. So, with practice it will be clear to you. Okay, I used to ask I had uh, I had questions in my mind that how will I do in the question. So, with practice it will be easy to you. Okay, so nothing to worry. So, let us see the options here. So, uh, it is a semi group but not monoid this is false because it is monoid monoid but not group yes it, this is true so this is a monoid but not a group so this is our answer so is a group false not a semi group is also false now let us say this example so let a is a set of all integers and a binary operation 
is defined star is defined as a star b is minimum of this two element okay so we just nothing actually a binary operation it's just finding the minimum of two element so i have to find out it is closed or not just uh, let's see one by one okay so first if it is closed or not means i have to find out if it's algebraic structure so uh, anything like we can check like one two okay so the minimum will be one so actually let's write it down like this so minus one one so minimum of this is minus one so anything it will be closed anyways okay so this is closed so this is algebraic structure so next we have to find it is associative or not so let's take a star b star c this two first then a star b star c this two first okay so if we apply this first then it is minimum of a comma b into star okay so again a star minimum of b comma c so then taking all this minimum of a comma b comma c and here also minimum so this is actually equals to I have to find out a comma b comma c so it is basically same thing okay so have to find out minimum of all these three elements so it is associative basically it is associative so since it is associative it is semi group okay so it is semi group next you have to find if it contains an identity element or not so you can say this is monoid okay so identity element we have to find out a star e will give you a okay so now we let's have to find out if this uh, identity element e exists for uh, this example so let's see if 99 and 100 is taken so 99 is coming okay so this two among this two see we, we have to find see a star e here is a star c let's say this is our a this is e is 100 and this is a okay so 99 and 100 among this minimum is 99 so 99 is coming so this is actually true but you cannot just take another example let's take another example so if in place of a we put 100 and uh, see if we take these two things so it is not coming down to as 101 okay so sorry we have actually should have written it down other way around 101 and 100 so here it is a this is e this is a but it is not this okay so when we take another example for a we are taking 101 and e is always uh, it, uh, it is going to be same so if we put e as 100 so this is not coming as this okay so this is coming as 100 so it is minimum of this two elements so it has to become 100 but it is not giving us a perfect identity element so if we don't get a perfect identity element so no identity element hence not monoid okay so it is not monoid so moving forward is actually of no use so it is not monoid it will not be a group and abelian group so this is first it is algebraic structure is uh, proved then it associative is also proved semi group but it is not monoid okay so let's see this uh, this one may be uh, for now it's last so we will continue with others also so now let's see this okay uh, so let a is a set of all positive rational numbers and a binary operation star is used okay so zero is um, excluded from here okay and is defined as a star b is basically a b by 3 okay so this binary operation is um, um, said as a b defined as sorry I just missed the word a b by 3 so now for all a b belongs to a then which of the following are true so now we have to find out which is group so if we have to find out this is group we have to go all the way down so now next is identity element is 3 let's say let's see one by one so if it is group or not so if first uh, we have to find out if it is algebraic structure or not okay so if we uh, find out anything see this a star b okay so a star b is equals to a b by 3 okay so this holds for everything okay so we are not using zero here so everything is hold okay, everything holds okay 
now we have to find out it is semi group or not semi group we have to find out if it is associative or not so here a star b star c so we have to find out it is associative or not a star b b star c so here it is a b by 3 then again star of c so a star b c by 3 again using this so a b c by 9 it is a b c by 9 okay so this is actually true okay so this is semi group also so now next we have to find out if it contains any identity element or not so for finding identity element we always know that this a star e is a we have to find out if this e exists or not okay so here if we say this a e by 3 is equals to a so see we are using star and we are putting the value a star b is equals to a b by 3 okay so here if we cancel out a like this so e will come as 3 so identity element exists so it's an id exists so it is monoid okay so now next is if it is group or not we have to find out uh, it is group or not so where should i write here let me see it is visible or not yes okay so uh, here if we have to find group or not so you have to find out this inverse of uh, exist or not okay so now let us say a star a inverse is equals to e okay so now uh, a into a star is e so to find out this uh, exist or not okay so now a into a star divide by 3 and e is already 3 we have to f we have find it out okay so this is 3 okay so now here you can see this a dot a star is equals to 9 so now you can say that a is equals to 9 by a star or you can write a star is equals to 9 by a okay so this inverse also exists so this is group so you don't have to check abelian because uh, we, uh, we are not asked actually so this is group okay so because we have find out inverse exists so now next b the identity element of a with respect to star is 3 so yes identity element is 3 so this is also true so this is true this is also true okay so now next the inverse of a is 3 by a but this is not true so inverse of a is 9 by a so this is 3 by a is given but we have, we have just find out it is actually 9 by a so this is not true this is false okay so we will see more uh, we will see some more topics and we will continue with gate questions okay so we will try to uh, finish this as soon as possible